Right, so we've looked at stretcher bond uh, junctions, and we looked at about three examples of those, and uh, we're now going to move on, as we said in the last video, uh, to peers. Uh, that is end peers and attached peers. So this will be the next one that we're going to look at. So just like a traditional garden wall with uh, the end pier there, and we've just got the plan view here of the uh, attached pier. Now, I've got written here that this is the common method because there's two methods we're going to look at. This is what is built nowadays and this one here, again it's the same drawing but I've just changed this part here to the traditional or the original method uh, which on all old garden walls you will see there'll be a different bonded arrangement on the uh, end pair and on the attached pair as well. But I thought before we um, actually go into drawing this it would be a nice idea just to have a look at this with um, some miniature bricks that I have and just to give us a, hopefully an appreciation of um, how we're going to be drawing this. Now if this is like the main wall and this was the pier at the end, uh, how we build nowadays is we would put a half at the back. So that would be our pier. But if you just notice this joint here, uh, when we come to do the second course, we will build like so. But here you can see the straight joint goes all the way up. And if you remember in the uh, first video we mentioned we went through the rules of bonding. And uh, we did mention there in the rules of bonding that we should ha um, never have any straight joints anywhere. But here we can see we clearly do have one. So you can see, although this visually from the face here... Uh, gives complete stretcher bond. It looks good on a, a appearance. There's only one cut, that half, uh, so it's quicker to build and it looks good. We do have this problem here, which we would normally put a cavity tie across or a cavity tie bent round just to tie across that straight joint. So that's how we build nowadays, but years ago they did do it properly. And what we're going to have a look at now is an end pair, and again if you go out um, walking at any time and just have a look at um, old garden walls um, you will see that rather than having a stretcher here uh, they'll have two headers. Okay, So with two bricks will go this way on. Um, so straight away you can see that half bond on the main wall down this way and, and carrying on to uh, another end pair Half bond suddenly changes to quarter bond because all of a sudden we're going to have two three quarters. Obviously, we've got to span this, so we will have two three quarters there. And where we had that straight joint before, it is no longer there. So, again, when we draw this, um, you'll be able to appreciate this better because at the moment you can't see because of the angle of the camera. Um, the zip that we have here. A zip just means a uh, load of joints bunched together and when we start talking about uh, reverse and broken bonds we will go into zips in a, a lot more detail. Um, but here like I said you can see that there's no straight joint but a little bit more cutting and visually not great because you have a nice stretcher bond wall and then when you come to the pair all the joints bunch up to quarter bond. So it doesn't really look right, although it is stronger. So that's the end pair. If we go to the common method, or the, the method used nowadays for a, a garden wall attached pair, we will do this. We will have a closure in the middle, and just remember the walls carrying on both ways. Then we will have two closures, uh, sorry, two three quarters in the back. And then these tie over, and that ties over at the back as well. So that is the arrangement. Just have a look at that again. That is the arrangement for an attached pair. Uh, when we build these, actually, um, just as a matter of interest, we don't put them in straight away. We would build uh, like so, and then we would do the next course where we'd have another closure there. So we would have a series of indents or pockets at the back of the wall and then we would build this on afterwards um, when we get round to the back of the wall. But you can see again 
that is the arrangement. Again, on the face, you maintain perfect half bond all the way through, so it looks better. There is a problem when the pier uh, rises above the uh, soldier course, if you've got soldier course or equipment at the top. If the piers extend up further, we do have a little problem, which we'll talk about that later on. Um, traditionally, these three quarters would have been hill bricks. So they would have gone like this. And then we would have our two three quarters there. We have a half there, and we would have had a brick at the back. So again, you can't appreciate this um, because of the angle of the camera, but visually, looking on the front elevation here, all of a sudden we have another zip where stretcher bond on the two sides of this uh, again are all in nice half bond. When it comes to the pair, we bunch up again into quarter bond. So again, we get like zips in the wall. And again, you can see this on old garden walls when I'll say that they used to do it properly, but. Again, visually, it's not as good as the way it is done nowadays. Right, okay, so what we'll do is um, we'll have a look at uh, a few pictures uh, of examples of this, and then we'll go onto the drawing board, and we will draw out everything that we've just been talking about. Okay, we've seen the miniature bricks, so we've seen the, the bonding arrangements um, that we were looking at uh, regarding uh, these two arrangements for uh, garden wall end pairs and attached pairs. And as I said uh, before, this is like the common method, which uh, we will look at first. And uh, what I thought we'd do is we'll look at the common method for the end pair, and then we'll stay on the end pair, and we'll go to the traditional method as well. So we'll just identify the the two arrangements although we've seen them in the uh, miniature bricks we will just draw them now and then once we've done those then we will go on to the attach uh, the attached pairs the um uh, the common method and the traditional one as well so as always uh, because i feel that these are a little bit too small to work from i've just blown up and and you can just see that i've just concentrated on the pair not the rest of the wall so uh, that's what i will do throughout uh, all of these um, little uh, bonding videos that we're going to be watching. Uh, so again, we're in stretcher bond, so straight away I'm just going to start off with a stretcher. So you can see that this stretcher will be there. And again, I will emphasize um, that we do everything very lightly with a pencil, uh, because you'll remember in one of the previous um, videos that we did, I marked a free quarter Although I said it was a stretch, I actually marked it as a three quarter. So it's very easy to make mistakes. And, and again, you don't want to do it in pen. Uh, and if you do it in pencil too hard, and you try and erase the, the error that you've done, again, it's um, very difficult to um, get rid of it. And it can distract you. So again, so we have a stretcher here. So we're in stretcher bond. So we know this garden wall will continue all the way up there in stretches. And obviously on the back of the pier, there would be another stretch there. Incidentally, I will just take uh, a moment just to highlight the three plumb points that you have on a garden wall. You would plumb up here on the face, and then on the end, you will just plumb these two up here. And uh, because, uh, as we know, uh, all bricks do vary slightly in size. So if you try to plumb up the back of the pair, um, when you tap in that one to get that right, you'll just obviously be interfering with the face, and the face is the side that you want to be plumb, so you can only plumb up the face side. So the face and the two bricks on the end. So anyway, back to our arrangement for um, this pair. We have got the two stretches on the face, obviously the wall will continue along there, and we have the um, stretcher on the back of the wall. So. Because we've got a stretcher there, we know that this will be a header on the end. And again, to keep half bond, you can see just there, we will need another stretcher. So the stretcher will go through there. So that basically is the bonded arrangement that is done nowadays. And again, you couldn't appreciate it with the miniature bricks uh, that we have because you couldn't really see 
um, the face elevation or the front elevation. Um, but here hopefully you can. You see that we have got nice half bond where this is straight over that one there. So good half bond, stretcher bond and that is visually the what we're looking for. But again we do see that just here we have that straight joint. So what we would have would be a cavity tie just uh, in the bed joint just to tie that across. So again very simple and uh, as we mentioned only one cut so uh, it looks good and it's quick to do um, but we do just have that little problem on the back that we have to think about. So if we go to the uh, traditional method of uh, how they used to do this uh, we will start off with the head of this time and again we're just going to do this slightly and how they used to do that would be with two headers on the end and again they would then go off to continue with stretches so you've got your stretcher there so again we said this is a stronger method because um, we don't straight away we can see we haven't got um, that joint there um, but what we will have is on the back of this wall we will have a whole brick again but because of this uh, joint we have here we now want to have a three quarter and these should have been marked here I can see them lightly there and another three quarter there so we'll have a three quarter and a three quarter there and then that if we bring that down is back to half bond. So you can see that when this comes down to here obviously this three quarters sitting on there so we've got nice half bond along the wall and then when we come to uh, the end pair here all of a sudden they bunch up into quarter bond and we get a zip up where the pair is. So visually um, not a great thing. Okay so we'll just quickly look at the attach pairs and the first of all uh, we're going to go for the common one and um, I'll start off with what we had on the th this is a plan B by the way the, the previous uh, two drawings we saw in isometric and um, so this is what we are going to have for this arrangement and again you remember um, with the miniature bricks this is what we had. So the back of the pair has two three quarters in it and the face elevation is unbroken half bond or stretcher bond which looks good because when we come to the next course obviously we can see same principle with the um, junctions that we did where we have uh, in effect this pair button up here this next course has got a tie across so we can see that that would tie across and we have a whole brick on the back so again very simple uh, it looks good as we said before because everything on the face is all stretcher bond uh, we did mention with the miniature bricks that when uh, this wall comes to its uh, height in conclusion with either um, coping stones or with a uh, soldier course if the pier extends up we do have a problem with how we bond this because you end up with a, a brick on top of a brick um, and again we will show that uh, when we look at some pictures later on okay so that is the common method simple we've got three cuts there but again visually it is much 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 better and uh, much much better than the traditional method that we're now going to look at so with the traditional method again I'm going to start off we have one course where we have this bonded in um, with the, the two headers gone uh, to make the actual pair. So because when we look at this again we want to be half bond here remembering that the rest of the wall both ways there's my half there is going to be continuing that way in half bond but again when we come to the pair this is where we get um, 
a bunch up of joints again so we do get like a zip and again we're going to have a brick on the back we've got this joint here which obviously we mustn't continue there so we have a header or a snap header this one is I'll just write that as a snap header because it's not a full brick snap header and that leaves us with a three quarter and a three quarter either side so that is the arrangement on a traditional or the original ways of um, building piers okay